Well, joining us now uh, from the headquarters in southern Germany is uh, Jürgen Hambrecht, chief executive of BASF. Thank you for joining us. Um, you've announced uh, a large dividend and things seem to be going very well. Uh, how concerned, uh, how, how confident are you that uh, this good fortune is going to continue? We are all rather optimistic for 2011. Uh, business momentum is very strong at this very moment. So we strive for a significant increase in sales and earnings in 2011. Now, of course, uh, with uh, this uh, good fortune comes some pressure from German workers to increase wages. Are you concerned? Are you feeling that pressure to up wages in Germany? We have some pressure, but uh, usually we have relatively good relationships. Uh, we have a very special system you may know of, uh, co-determination. And therefore, we take care for our employees and they benefit from the super success we had in 2010 by a bonus, uh, performance-based bonus system, as well as an extra bonus for managing the crisis over the last uh, two years of 50 uh, million euros. And where do you see the main drivers for growth being in terms of geographical sectors as well? Yeah, certainly growth is mostly uh, driven by Asia, especially China, but also India. Uh, and this will continue into the future. The two thirds, mostly, uh, of the growth comes from emerging markets and especially from Asia. So Asia is the focus of growth. And in terms of uh, commodity prices and input costs, uh, they are rising. How, how will you deal with that in the future and keep your profitability? The first point here is certainly that margin momentum at this very moment is strong. We believe that we can push through most of the price increases necessary from raw material into the market. On the other side, I have to say, constantly increasing prices certainly generate inflation, and inflation is eating up growth, uh, generally speaking, on global terms. I'd like to ask you, if I may, about the situation uh, in Libya for you. You uh, have uh, production there. Has the production ceased? Now we stopped our manufacturing. Uh, facilities have been secured and protected. First priority in Libya at this very moment, because the situation is very severe and very difficult to judge. First priority is safety of our employees, all of our employees. And we have flown out most of the international employees, including their families, out of Libya at this point of time. Uh, do you still have uh, international employees uh, in Libya? Uh, how are they getting on? And are you planning to get them out of the country as well? No, we, uh, there will be a few voluntarily staying in Libya, taking care for the local employees, but also for all the assets we have sitting there as much as we can. Okay, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Thank you.